You know, it was a long break. And I think maybe it was just something that came to a conclusion where I started thinking about the possibility of playing the hits again. But actually, circumstances pushed me over the line. I'd been working with Alex Sintek, a Mexican pop star. He wanted me to, to write with him a song in the style of the twins and then said, go ahead and sing it. And I hadn't done it for a long time, but that got me back in the saddle, as it were. And then Howard Jones said, do you want to come and tour in America? And I said, yeah, sure, let's, let's... I began to take it seriously, in other words. And then, of course, realised how exciting that might be. Whereas I'd been a little bit in denial, you know. <laughs> that was the past, I don't do that stuff anymore, and you know how it is. And then, of course, you finally get on the stage, and wow, amazing. Doctor, doctor, can't you see I'm Such delight. We all live before the morning light. I'd forgotten how energizing the whole thing was, and uh, it's like a drug, you know, once you've tasted it again, you're addicted immediately. <laughs> I think everyone has different memories, so they focus on different songs. For a fan, I think it may be the song where they first realised that they liked the group. So it might be an early one, or it might be for other people, the one that just everyone seemed to get into, the kind of really broad hit that went round the world and everyone got singing it. So I don't know, uh, as a fan myself of, of other musicians, you know, it's, it's a very personal thing, isn't it? But... As particularly in the big gigs, it's the ones where we all feel some kind of collective ownership of the experience, where you really feel people's hearts beating in sync with each other, you know. And that becomes an emotional moment. It's no longer just about music. It's about the way that music has gone into culture and kind of made love to it on some level, and you get that feedback. And it's a self-sustaining thing, you know, and the most wonderful moment. <laughs> trip down memory lane for me as well as for for the audience um but very satisfying and very good to to, to see the face, faces many of whom were familiar you know so uh, when i look out on a stage and i see someone that i can just about remember from 30 years ago that's an amazing thing too you know? it's like a big high school reunion or something like that. <laughs> 